Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. As the title says above, this is going to be my huge collective April book haul. You guys have seen me haul a few books here and there. Um, there are a few items missing, obviously, but um, I'll probably just include those in my May book haul or do a separate video for those things that do come. But um, I'm going to start off with my review books, then I'm going to go into things that um, I purchased. So starting off with the review books, I'm going to start off with Moody Publishers. You guys saw that I mentioned this book in the last haul. For, I think, March, it was the Lies Women Believe Bible Study from Nancy DeMoss. And um, I said that I had got the Young Woman's Version, but it wasn't here. But I finally have it now with me. So here it is, the Study Guide for Lies Young Women Believe by Nancy DeMoss, Donna Gresh, with Erin Davis. And it's a really cute, cute Bible study. I really like the way that it looks. Um, especially with the apple. They all have the apple on it, which I think is so cute. But, um, yeah. And I also mentioned that I was going to be requesting the actual books to review. So I do have both of them, but only one is here right now. This is The Lies Women Believe by Nancy DeMoss, the actual physical hardcover copy. And I do own both on e-reader copy, but I wanted the physical copy, so I requested them. And, um, yeah, it's so, so pretty. I really like the simplicity of it. And, um... Here's how the back of it looks. Now, like I said, I also have the book for um, The Lies Young Women Believe, which I'll enter at the cover here. It is a paperback copy, but it hasn't come yet. Um, it might come later on today, but I'm doing this haul early in the morning. So, um, yeah, I do have that coming in the mail. So that's all I got from Moody for this month. So basically, two items. The next items I got are all from Baker Publishing. Yeah, Baker Publishing Group. I had to verify the name. And um, I have four books from them. One of these books is from their Baker Books um, division. They have multiple divisions under their publishing group. They have different branches. So um, I have one from Baker Book, and it is this book here, Fierce Marriage, by Ryan and Selena Frederick. I absolutely love this book. It's a really good book about um, their marriage and how they figured out a bunch of things and it uses a lot of biblical um, information and scripture so I really like this book. Um, it says radically pursuing each other in light of Christ's relentless love and it's forwarded by Gary Thomas. I really do love this book. I have a review on it. It'll be linked down below. Um, highly recommend it for those who are married, who are engaged. I'm engaged to be married um, so this was definitely a good book for me to read and I enjoyed it. The next three are all from Rebel, and um, they are another division of the Baker Publishing Group. The first one is Begin Again, The Brave Practice of Releasing Hurt and Receiving Rest by Leanna Tankersley. And the cover itself is super, super gorgeous. I really, really like it. And, um... I mean, it's all, it's just about um, making sure that every day is a fresh new start um, to your day and that you're not living in the past with your hurt. Um, so, yeah. Pretty good book. I do have a review on this as well down below. All of these have a review, so you go, so you guys know. Um, the next one is called Breaking the Fear Cycle by Maria Furlow. It's how to find peace for your anxious heart. And I love the cover of it. It's how really pretty it is with the watercolor effect. But if you guys look in the flower, there are few, like a few little stars. So it looks like the night sky in the flower. Really, really pretty. Um, it's just about over overcoming fear, basically, and fear is something that used to keep me in bondage. But um, I thought this was a really good book to read, so that's that one. And the last one from the Baker Publishing Group, which is also from Revel, is one that I was super, super excited to get because they sent the email out stating um, or asking people who wanted a copy. And I filled out the information stating that I wanted a copy, and I wasn't expecting to get a copy of it, but I did, and... It makes me so happy. Um, it's from Lisa Beveray, and it's her newest book called Adamant. And first of all, the book cover, the book itself, is super cute. I did read the, uh, I think it's a six-day or seven-day devotional that she has on the Holy Bible app, which I will link down below for those of you who do have the Bible app on your phones or tablets or whatever. 
the devotional was so phenomenal you guys so phenomenal that I jumped right into this and um, this book is so good the subtitle says finding truth in a universe of opinions it's just about knowing that um, God is adamant enough for you and that you're adamant enough for him and um, it's so 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 good so good you guys really really recommend this book recommend the devotional and I think she has a study um, a DVD study or something that goes to this which I'm gonna get phenomenal I have not read her other books I have without revival on e-reader I have lioness arising on e-reader and I'm actually just purchased another one of her of her books um as well but this was the first one that I read though I owned her other ones and phenomenal so again it's adamant by Lisa Beverly and I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong but yeah that's that one okay so moving on I have six books from BH publishing books um which also works with Lifeway so the first book is God's Book of Proverbs, Biblical Wisdom Arranged by Topic, and this is basically the complete book of Proverbs, but is broken down by topic and by verse. So, there are topics on anger, beauty, calamity. See all the topics here, and then the verses are broken down by um, chapter and stuff like that. If you guys can see, like this is Proverbs 1, 7 right here, 1 and 7. Um, which is the fear of the Lord, is the beginning of knowledge, foods, despise, wisdom, and discipline. Then it goes to Proverbs 3, um, verses 11 to 12, which says, Do not despise the Lord's instruction, my son, and do not loathe his discipline. For the Lord's discipline, the one he, for the Lord disciplines the one he loves, just as a father disciplines the son in whom he delights. Um, so I really, really like this. This is a good one to use um, when you're looking to pray scripture over your life. This is a really good one, and it's completely on the book of Psalms. The book of Proverbs, sorry. This is in the CSB translation, so yeah. It's a good one. It does come with a bookmark. If I could get it out. So it does come with this nice, um, kind of like olivey golden bookmark. It's really pretty. Moving on, we have Why Her? Six Truths We Need to Hear When Measuring Up Leaves Us Falling Behind by Nikki Kozeris. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I'm butchering it, but um, yeah, this is the book. I think the Proverbs 31 Ministry was doing a book club on this, um, but if I'm not mistaken, this is a book based off of the sisters Rachel and Leah from the book of Genesis, and um, it's just basically about how we as women ask ourselves the question of why her, you know, why is she more beautiful, or why does she get the job, or why does she get the husband, or whatever the case, whatever your why her might be. Um, that's what this book is really about, and I thought it was a really good book. Thumbs up for this, so I do recommend it. And then the next one is by Eric Geiger. Never heard of him, but it sounded interesting. It's How to Ruin Your Life and Starting Over When You Do. Here is the book cover, and I'll quickly read what it says on the back. It says, To bring strong and tall buildings to the ground, demolition experts strategically, sorry, strategically, Place tiny explosives throughout the structure of a building so that the building will topple on itself. Instead of destroying the building from the outside, they destroy it from within in the same way many great men and women have imploded and others are well on their way. Author Eric Geiger offers a sobering reminder that many great and godly people have imploded and none of us are above the risk. Looking at the story of David's infamous implosion, readers will learn how to ruin our lives so we won't and also how to find hope if we do as all as all of us need his grace sorry but um yeah it's just about what happens when you do tend to ruin your own life and how to fix it and how to start over um and he uses king david as an example and i think david is like the most not simplest but like the most well-known person to use as an example because he's just had so much um profound moments and many downsides of his moments in the bible so you know that's that the next one is called growing down by michael kelly Yes, Kelly. It's unlearning the patterns of adulthood that keeps us from Jesus. So, um, it sounds weird. I thought it was funny when I looked at it. But it's more so about growing up in Christ and growing down as an adult, as an individual, as myself. Um, so it's kind of like how my favorite scripture is John 3.30. Um, he must increase so that I must decrease. It's kind of like that idea. And um, it sounded really good, so I requested it for review. The next one is The Four Wills of God, The Way He Directs Our Steps and Frees Us to Direct Our Own um, by Dr. Emerson Eggerich. Eger, I'm not sure how I'm pronouncing that, but I um, don't know what it's about. Can't tell you. I know I requested this. 
but it sounded good to me so I requested it um, if you guys want to know more about this book just let me know and I'll do a review on it but um it says there is a simple answer to finding God's unique will for your life when you obey the universal will of God your obedience triggers your experience of unique will of, of the unique will of God for your life of course that raises the question what is the universal will um, and apparently there are four of them to believe in Christ give thanks in everything submit in doing right and abstain from sexual sin so that book focuses on those um, four wills of God which I think is profound and really cool and I love the book cover it's black and gold really nice and the last book I have for review was by Trevin K. Wax and it's Eschatological I'm probably pronouncing that wrong discipleship and um, I know that this here is the study of um, like the last things the last thing doctrines basically the book of revelations and um, that's pretty much what it's about it's leading Christians to understand the historical and cultural context so I'm excited to look into this um, I don't know so I'm really interested in like taking theology or, or going to seminary school seminary school but um i don't know stuff like this seems to interest me so i'm gonna see how this book is i know some people read it and said that they liked it so we'll see all right so those are the review books i'm going to move on to um i guess more free books before i tell you guys the things that i actually paid for so i have three books from joyce meyer but only two of them here because one of them is on back order so i have the confident woman starting today living boldly and without fear by joyce meyer and uh yeah i don't know what it's about it sounded really interesting so i got it <laughs> that's pretty much all that i can say about this and then i have you can begin again no matter what it's never too late by joyce meyer and this was another cover by. I just thought the yellow was pretty. But it's also just about um, starting over. And I think that's something that I tend to struggle with. Is starting over when I make mistakes or when I think about my past. So, I requested it. Um, I did get an on donation fee. I didn't pay a lot for it. Um, but I thought it was a good one to get. So I got that. And then I got her new book. Which I can't remember the name. I think, I think it's Live a Life You Love or something like that. The cover is here. Um, I did request that book. It was on back order, so I'm probably going to get it this month um, just because it was on back order. And um, you guys know, you can always go to her website in the Today's Offer section, and she has a bunch of books up for donation fee or a set price for some bundles. Um, I'll leave a link down below to where you guys can check out that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Joyce Meyer. And then last, I'm going to share with you guys the things that I got from our daily bread and then I'm probably gonna do a separate video for the things that I actually purchased so um for the things that I got from our daily bread discovery house just our daily bread as a ministry um so I have five of these little study books um this one is the mystery of the manger exploring the whole story of Christmas this is by John Grego hopefully you guys can see that better than gold the life-changing wisdom of the Bible by Mark Dehan. I have a message for all time understanding and applying the Bible by Jake I can't even pronounce it so Jake K signs and wonders getting to the heart of Jesus's miracle miracles by Dennis Fisher miracles of Easter unveiling the story of the cross by William Nicholson so then I got this CD here. It's the My Utmost for His High. My Utmost for His Highest, sorry. And um, this is supposed to be, let me look at it. This is supposed to be like a companion to the Utmost um, devotional by, I think it's Oswald Chambers or something like that. I'll put the book cover here, but this is kind of like some songs that go along with that so you can listen to it. So it looks just like this. And here's the back of it. There are 13 songs on here, so I got that. Let me just slide that over here. I have all my CDs here. Um, then I got from Discover the Word, The Broken Way, A Conversation with Anne Voskamp. And, um... Sorry, I'm just looking at it on the back. It says, we all, the unspoken broken, we all have it, even though it's more natural to build a protective wall that prevents us from sharing the hurt, pain, Hurt and pain associated with our struggles in life. Jesus calls us to the vulnerable open. 
to be vulnerable and open with others, best-selling author Anne Voskamp joins the Discover the Word team, Bill Crowder, Mark Dehan, and Alicia Morgan for 10 honest conversations about how we can take our broken and find our way to abundance with God. So, yeah, it's 10 segments, um, two discs. And here's what that looks like. I also got In the Pursuit of Paul the Apostle from Dr. Constine Campbell. There's another one that they have, which is In the Pursuit of Peter, which I really, really want. You can find these on Amazon. Um, you can either buy the DVDs themselves, you can buy them on the Discovery House Publishing website, or you can also just rent them um, through Amazon Prime if you have it. But um, yeah, it's just following, I guess, Paul's mission trips. Yeah, it's a seven-part series, each approximately about 22 minutes in length. Um, there's expanded explanations on his letters, Khan's own faith journey, and following the journey from Jerusalem across the Mediterranean all the way to Rome. Um, I mean, you go from Jordan to Israel, Turkey, Cyprus, Greece, Malta, Italy. It basically just joins in the pursuit of Paul's um, journey and sharing the word of God. So, there we got that. Then this came as um, a duo, so it's the citizens of the kingdom responding to government as Christians. And it came with Christians at the Border, Immigration, the Church, and the Bible by M. Daniel Carroll Jr. This is the second edition and I thought it was a good one to read. So, thinking biblically about immigration. So it's about immigration in the church, so I'm excited to see that one. And then the last one I got from them is this one, Preventing Suicide, a Handbook for Pastors, Chaplains, and Pastoral Counselors by Karen Mason. And honestly, I got this because I used to um, try to commit suicide back in my past. And again, I will do a whole video on my testimony, but um, I thought it was a good book to read for myself um, so that I'll be able to not only help people with what has helped me, um, but just learn new ways to help other people, if that makes sense. So that's that and I also got this cup here which is says discover the word from our daily bread ministries and this is a coffee mug and you guys this stuff keeps your coffee hot like I can make coffee at 9 a.m. and it'll be piping hot no lie until about 1 p.m. 2 p.m. and about that 1 to o'clock ish range it starts to get warm but still warm enough to drink not on the cold warm but more so on like the hot warm so this is amazing um it's supposed to keep your stuff hot up to 12 hours and i will definitely agree with this it does my coffee is still hot guys so that's it for part one because part two is going to be everything else that i got from amazon as well as christianbook.com so that's pretty much all the review books as well as the items that i got from joyce myers website and our daily bread ministries um and that's it yeah so if you have any questions or want to see a review on anything in specific just let me know in the comment section i can do that for you guys um and if you want to see part two definitely check out the next video and if not i'll see you guys in the next video bye